Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you out there, wherever you are in the world. This is Sami Wanek and welcome you to Edison Online Academy. In this tutorial, I'll be explaining how to draft IPIN components. This video, this tutorial is second in our series on drafting piping components with AutoCAD. In this particular tutorial, in this particular video, I'll be showing you how to draft an equal T using AutoCAD. I'll be showing you how to draft a 10 inch schedule 80 equal T using AutoCAD. So if you've not watched our first video, which actually we dropped that elbow, you can go back and watch that one. Or maybe when you're done with this one, you go back and watch that one and follow the process step by step. Nothing is difficult. Uh, I'm actually going through the process step, one step at a time. And please, I um, beg you, subscribe to my channel, like my video, drop your comments, click on the bell icon so that you always be notified whenever I upload a new tutorial, a new video. So let me move over straight to the software itself. So right now we are in the software. Like I said, now we'll be drafting a 10 inch schedule 80 equal T. So now where are, are we gonna get the dimensions? Uh, I got the dimensions from pipe data, from pipe data. I got the dimensions from pipe data. So um, this is actually the dimensions of a 10 inch equal T. This is the dimension of a 10 inch equal T, okay? So um, let me show you. This is pipe that has half. Okay, this is pipe that has half. So um, this is it, the sketch of the T, of the center line, radius of center line. So the radius of center line has been given. We have 216 right, 216 left, 216 up. So this is the radius of center line of the equal t that is 10 inch equal t schedule 80 okay so um the what would it now is the outer and inner diameter so the outer and inner diameter of a 10 inch schedule 80 pipe will give us that still on pipe data i'm going to get that from pipe data. let me move over so this is the cross section of a 10 inch schedule 80 pipe this is the outer diameter which is 273.1 this is the inner time that which is 242.82. Okay, so um let me go back to my software right now so that we'll proceed our, with our, our class right away. Okay, so So this is our this thing. This is our screen right now. So um, the first thing you do is to draw the center line of curvature. That's the first thing you do when you want to drop the elbow. So already I have created my layers. So let me quickly show you in case you've not created yours. You can just post your, the video and create this layer. I have center line layer, white, dimension layer, green. Um, the dimension layer is green with a continuous line, that is the default. ID, that is internal diameter with a color nine. I use a card, ISO, 2W100, that is the line type I use, okay? Then um, outer diameter, I use yellow color continuous line, that is the default line. Center line, I use a white center two. Okay, 
already have shown you in one of my videos how you can actually create this choose this line type so for whatever line type you can use that one is by the way you can if you don't know how to actually load your lines up you can chat me up and i will give you directions or i will show you or i'll refer to my previous video i've already uploaded okay so this is it create so create your layers and after creating your layers right now we are going to create this the center lines of the t so we're going to put our layer on center line putting my layer on center line vertically i draw a vertical line of length my auto mode has to be on so i i put on auto mode so that the line is going to be vertical so i come here i draw a vertical line of length 216 okay i draw horizontal line towards the right i connect the line to this edge here yeah, to the bottom of this line make sure that your endpoint snap your endpoint of the snap is turned on it must be turned on for it to connect so i connect the line from here i move towards the right i type 216 i press enter and that line is drawn okay now i draw a line I cut another line from the bottom of the vertical line or at this point point of intersection of these two lines i draw another line towards the left of length 216 so right now i have my center line the lines of center line of center line of the t so the next thing that i i do right now since i have these lines right now is um i'm going to draw the internal diameter so over here right now you can see this is the cross section of a 10 inch schedule 85 this is the internal diameter which is 273.1 this is the outer diameter which is 242.82 it's just a, a 242.8 i've run it to one decimal place or if you want me to take it to the two decimal place let me take it to two decimal place so that to avoid confusion so So it is 242.82. This is the outer diameter. This is the in, internal diameter, inner diameter. So the next thing we're going to do is that we copy this. We're going to copy this right now. I copy it here over here. Okay. So I copy it forward. Now I'm going to place the internal diameter. That is the inner diameter here, here, and here. That is at the middle, at the midpoint of this lines of center line of curvature. Okay. So I put my layer now on the internal diameter ID. I draw a line of a vertical line of length 242.82. I draw another one horizontal of two. 42.82. Okay. So I want to place these lines. Adam, Adam, I'm going to pick them up from your midpoint and place it at the end of this line. So I select this line. I go to move. I pick it up from the midpoint. Make sure that midpoint object snap is turned on in your status bar. So I pick up a midpoint, I drop here. I select this one as well. All right, clear, I go to move. I pick it up in midpoint, I drop it here as well. Okay. So I select this one, I right click, I go to copy selection. I pick it from here, from the midpoint, and I drop it at the end here. Okay. So what's the next thing I do? The next thing I do is that I let me just move this in a little in the vertical direction. So the next thing I do now is I copy this and I copy it forward. I select, right click, 
go to copy selection to my base point what is happening I select right click go to copy selection if my base point and i copy it forward so what's next i do my layer is still going to be on id i go to line i click on line i come here i click here i move to the end i click again okay i repeat the line by right clicking I click here to draw another line from here all the way down here. Then I come over here. I click at the end point of that line. I move down a little just below this line here. This line that I cross the sun a little and I click. I click in the fit line. I click here. I make sure I move a little below. Okay. And what the next thing I do? So I've done this. This is second. This is next step. Now moving over to the next step. I copy everything here. Right, so I select everything. Right click, go to copy selection. I this at my base point and I move it forward again. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to trim off this. These lines. Are crossing this line that is crossing up into this one, and this one that is crossing above this one. We'll trim them off. So I type T R I M trim on my command line. I press enter. I come here. I trim off. Click here. Move a little. Click, click here. Move a little. I trim off. Click inside here, move outside, I click again. I, trim, I click inside, move above the line, I click again. Let me do that in one again. And now I have the T based on the internal diameter. So it remains the one based on the outer diameter. So what do I do? Still, I go back and tick the radius of center line of curvature of the T. I move, okay, I mistakenly click on scale. Select this, I right click, I go to copy selection. I copy this, I bring it forward here. Okay. So right now, since I'll be working on the outer diameter, I'm gonna change my layer from internal diameter to outer, that is OD. Now, what is the OD? The OD from here, the cross section of a pipe of 10 inches is 273.1. So we come here, we are going to draw a line of, original line of 273.1. I press enter. I draw another one, let's go now, 273.1. Point one. So I pick it up from um, the midpoint. Pick it up from the midpoint. I drop it here. Pick this one up from the midpoint as well. I drop it here. I select this. I copy it from the midpoint from here. I drop it here. Okay. So what's the next step? The next step, I copy everything. Copy it forward. Okay. I mistakenly press kill. Let's copy this forward. So now I'm going to connect this line to this line, this to this, and move this down. So I go to line, click here, click here. I right click, I want to repeat the line. Come here, I come here. I right click again, I repeat the line, I click here, I move down, I click here, I move 
down. So what's the next step? I copy again. I copy this again. Then what do I do? I'm going to trim. T-R-I-M. I type in T-R-I-M. My command line, I press enter. I press enter again. I come here, I trim. I trim. I come here, I trim. I come here, I left click, move over, I left click again. I click inside, move over, I click again. Now I have my outer diameter. So I have both my outer diameter and my inner diameter. So what do I do? I copy this forward. I'm going to copy this forward. So after copying forward, what's the next thing I do? I come here, I select the inner diameter, the T I created with the inner diameter, I, I select it. I click, I go to copy selection. I'm going to copy it from this point where those three lines meet. That will be my base point. I copy it from there, I move forward, I'm still going to drop it at that same spot on the one with the outer diameter, I drop it there. I press escape. And right now, I have my 10 inch schedule A T equal T with both the outer diameter and the inner diameter. So take your time and go over the tutorial. If you have any questions, drop in the comment section or you can WhatsApp me on plus 234-8038295185. So I believe everything is clear. I really appreciate you visiting my channel, spend your time to, to learn with me. I really appreciate it. Keep on doing, doing it. Keep on liking the video, keep on subscribing. Subscribe, like the video, click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video, drop your comments. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. So watch out for our next video on drafting piping components. In the, in the next video, we will be drafting a reducer, a 10 inch schedule, 80, sorry, a 10 by eight, a 10 inch by eight inch schedule 80 reducer. So we're going to be drafting a reducer. Thank you for spending your time this evening. I really appreciate it. Bye. So watch out for the next lesson.